Hello, I'm Morris Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills and Survival Instructor. The topic of the moment is insects. What you should want to know about the insects that share the natural environment. Um, as you'll see, you probably have the option that you can either eat the insects or they might end up eating you. Uh, here we have a, a book uh, by a well-known Canadian type of uh, naturalist, uh, David Suzuki. It lays out the foundations uh, on how to look and understand insects. It's uh, probably readily available. Yeah, you want to know a bit about the lifestyle of insects and the, the um, uh, implications as we see by the titles of the books. Um, a book like this one, Insects by Ross A. Hutchins, uh, it probably gives you the natural aspect, the interesting thing about insects, the devious nature of the creatures. Uh, insects of South Central Alaska. I generally find that anything that is published for Alaska is quite a, applicable in most of Canada. So any insect found in Alaska is easy, readily found in, in uh, far southern climes here in mid-central Alberta, definitely and for sure. There are a number of books on um, eating insects as food. This probably is the most current and comprehensive. Uh, gives you a great idea of how insects are looked upon as food throughout the world. Uh, you want to be able to recognize certain insects because some of them will look alike, but some will be innocuous and some could be very dangerous. And here we have a, a well uh, worked out article on the various things you should know about insects that uh, could bring you to harm and how to recognize the the type of insects so that you can uh, act accordingly. Bugs in the system, insects and their impact on human affairs. Well, insects can be very destructive of foodstuffs, for example, uh, and uh, certain insects are just about as as uh, dangerous as snakes and, and so on. So here we have a, a focus on the actual problems insects may be creating to mankind. Here is an old book, uh, but I bring it up because I have I noticed by the uh, 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 me writing in the cover that I bought it in 1964. I do remember this book and I refer to it occasionally, although it was written in 1923. I read an article about uh, uh, insects laying eggs in your nose and then they hatch. Oh, I got so itchy I had to take a shower. And then I thought after a good shower, and I thought I'd get back to the book and read it, and shortly after I took a second shower because the nature of the information that was in this book created that effect in me. But at any rate, insects can play a very uh, significant role in your comfort and uh, in the issue of uh, knowing a lot about the environment you find yourself in, and I figure there is no harm in becoming knowledgeable about insects in general so that you how, know how to deal with them the way our ancestors had to deal with them. Uh, they are still around to bug us.